Doug, the great Western engine, works hard in the yard at the big station. Sometimes he pulled coaches. Sometimes he pushed freight cars. But whatever the work, Duck got the job done without fuss. One day, Duck was resting in the shed when Sir Topham had arrived. Your work in the yard has been good. Would you like to have a branch line of your own? Yes, please, sir, replied Duck. So Duck took charge of his new branch line. The responsibility delighted him. The line runs along a coast by sandy beaches till it, meet, till it meets a point where big ships come in. Duck enjoyed explored every curve and quarter of the line. Sea breeze swirled his smoke high into the air and his green paint glistened in the sunlight. This is just like being on holiday, he puffed. Well, you know what they say, laughed the driver. A change is as good as a rest. Soon, Duck was busier than ever. Sir Topham Hatt was building a new station at the port. Duck pulled the heavy freight cars wherever they needed. Bertie looked after Duck's passengers, and the other engines helped too, but, but the work took a long time. Noise and dust fill the air. Don't worry, whistled Toby. This station is nearly finished. And on time, too, said Duck, thankfully. Duck felt his responsibility deeply and talked endlessly about it. You don't understand, Donald, how much your top of hat relies on me. Ugh. Oi. Muttered Donald sleepily. I'm great, wasn't it? Quack, quack, quack. What? You heard? Quack, quack, you go. Sounds like you and egg leg. Now we should let an engine sleep. Quack yourself, said Duck indignantly. Later, he spoke to his driver. Donald says I quack as if I laid an egg. Quack, do you, pondered his fireman. He whispered something to Duck and his driver. They were going to play a joke on Donald and pay him back for teasing Duck. The engines were busy for the rest of the day, and nothing more was said. Not even a quack. But when at last Donald was asleep, Doug Shriver and Fireman popped something into his water tank. Next morning, when Donald stopped for water, he found that he had an unexpected passenger aboard. A small white duckling popped out of his water tank. Now that who is behind this? laughed Donald. The duckling was tame. She shared some of the fireman's sandwiches and rode in a tender. The other engines enjoyed teasing Donald about her. Presently she grew tired of traveling and hopped off at the station and there she stayed. That night, Donald Driver and Fireman got busy. And in the morning, when Duck's crew arrived to look over, they laughed and laughed. Look what's on your bunker. It's a bu nest box with an egg in it. Donald woke up with a sleepy eye. Well, 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 you must have laid it overnight. Duck laughed. You win, Donald. It'd take a clever engine to get the better of you. There's a pond near the duckling station. Here, she often swims and welcomes the trains they pass by. The station master calls her Dilly.